Hello friends, this is a short update about my MCO Compact 8 lathe uh, for one of my two viewers. <laughs> um, it's about the DRO and how to install it or how I installed it. It's by no means perfect, it works. Um, I have a glass uh, scale in the back. There are two mounting points for a drill head or a mill head you can attach to the lathe. And these two um, mounting holes are M8. So I uh, installed an angle iron like this, a little bigger, uh, to this two, two points and laid uh, the glass scale on it. It's lying here, you can see it in the back. Um, it's not a perfect uh, solution because the opening is now here and not under it. So maybe chips can fly in, but uh, it has not happened yet. Um, it's okay, I want to build some sheet metal around this uh, to protect it a little more, but um, that's not happened now. The glass scale is a two auto brand. It's like this one, just a little bit longer. And it's installed this way. And the reed head can travel in the back. Uh, not the right angle. No, it's right. Um, yeah. I don't know, this is 200 millimeters. And on my Amco, I installed, uh, I have to measure it. It's about 70 centimeters or 700 millimeters. Um, it gives, it's a little bit too much travel, but um, it works. I can go uh, up to here or I can go all the way back. Sorry, I'll just unscrew it. Um, no problems. Uh, I got um, the lines attached to this point and they go up to the display. So no problems here, can jump off the headstock. <laughs> um, that works. Um, the other scale, this is a magnetic scale. It's only an aluminium cover with a magnetic band in it and the reed head is screwed in here in this aluminium form. So um, if I want to travel with my apron or my cross slide, this is cross slide, um, the scale moves in front of the reed head. It's sort of upside down. Uh, in theory, the reed head should uh, travel on the scale, but it works also. And I, I've got the full travel for this part. I can go all the way back and here's the end, can't go any further and I can't and I can uh, go up to the front. And this uh, magnetic scale um, was a little bit longer. I shortened it because um, here's the wall and I don't want this too long. Um, this scale now is, let me look under the cover, this scale is 36. I believe I bought a 400 millimeter. Um, you can put off um, and you can take off the end caps and you can um, saw it down to the length you need. And uh, I drilled two holes in the, this magnetic scale, one here and one here and attached it to the cross slide. Um, the whole assembly lies on an angle iron. You can see down here It's a 5mm steel part, um, in L shape. It was an old iron like this. I just took off the base, drilled it and put it on because it's rigid and precise. Um, and it's cheap. So, um, and here are some of the um, angle aluminium parts that came with the scales. Um, and this is just an aluminium tubing 
Let me search if I got one. So this is just an aluminium tubing, like like this part. I, I cut it off here for another project, but it's this part. And the reed head fits in this tubing. So it sits under here. Here are the, here are the lines going up. Um, yeah, it works nice. Um, I have some to protect this scale because um, it's magnetic. It will attract all the chips. Um, in this part I do not use it, but in this part I have to protect it, so I had this uh, shield around uh, um, on top. Uh, it's just an aluminium uh, sort of form part, which I cut off. And I have some of this, um, I don't know how, it, it's foam. It's plastic foam, I don't know exactly in English. And this is attached underneath, it's cut in length. And it protects um, the um, the scale from chips. Um, and if it's full of chips, I can uh, replace it easily. It's not. Uh, it's cheap. It's not a problem. And I use this setup now for two projects, and I had no big problems with chips on the on the magnetic scale. But I also go after every pass and wipe them off. That's the way. Um, now I can, uh, can take you out of the stand and show you the reading. This is um, Video Auto Digital Panel. Uh, Alright, another update was I installed this 5mm steel plate on top of the housing. Uh, you can screw in it, it's, it's cast metal and it's very thick. You can take off the cover plate and look in it and you can uh, position your 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 drill. Um, this is just an old um, cup where I have my replacement parts, which I need every day, um, or some starters, whatever. You don't want it to lie around and fall into the moving machine um, like this one. It should lay here around this bolt, so I can use it, but it can't fall off. Um, and here's some uh, parts I often use and the chuck key. Um, and I also can put on my measuring devices here with the magnetic post and um, you can easily attach your part when you are working on the lathe. That's a nice feature. And you have, don't have to put it on the, on the slide or on the back. Okay. Okay, um, that's about this upgrade. Um, if you get any further questions about the DRO, please uh, leave a comment and thank you for watching.